Following up the lecture on opera conditioning, here are a few examples to just solidify the theory of this themselves. These might actually be questions or like questions that you would find on an assessment to address and have you demonstrate your understanding of operant conditioning. A lion in a circus learns to stand up on a chair and jump through a hoop to receive a food tree. Now in this we ask ourselves a few questions. The first question we ask ourselves is something being added or removed? And in this example a treat is being added. Now is that something good or something bad? What we want to know is whether or not that behavior is increasing or decreasing. If something is added we know that our first term is going to be positive. If a behavior is increasing or decreasing depending upon that shift in behavior will dictate whether or not it's reinforcement or punishment. In this example something is being added and the behavior is increasing. So therefore we have positive reinforcement. That's the answer to our um, operant conditioning question. Again, as we move through these examples, please feel free to pause the information and try to answer these on your own just to double check your own understanding. A professor has a policy of exempting students from the final exam if they maintain perfect attendance during the quarter. Students attendance increases dramatically. Ask yourself, is something being added or removed? In this example, the final exam is actually being removed. So we know that our first term is going to be the word negative. And then ask yourself, is the behavior increasing or decreasing? Well, if students' attendance increases dramatically, then not only is something being removed, but the behavior is increasing. So we have a negative reinforcement. Here's our next example. You check the coin return slot on a payphone and find a quarter. You find yourself checking other telephones over the next few days. Ask yourself, is something being added or removed? How about, is a behavior increasing or decreasing? You should have an answer by now, and that's going to be positive reinforcement. In our last example, your father gives you a credit card at the end of your first year in college because you did so well. As a result, your grades continue to get better in your second year. Ask yourself, is something being added or removed? And then, is a behavior increasing or decreasing? Again, we have positive reinforcement. Those are some examples. I hope you found them helpful. Make sure and check out the fun stuff video.